As the millions of years passed, Australia began to dry out. The rainforests retreated and were replaced by grassy plains. And as the landscape changed, so did the marsupial mammals. They thrived and diversified into many different species, and they're still abundant today. They differ from the platypus and the echidna in the way they reproduce. Instead of laying eggs, they produce young without protective shells, and this grey kangaroo is about to do so. Out comes not a shelled egg, but a tiny, underdeveloped little worm. less than a lump of sugar. It has no back legs, but it has four legs, and they are just strong enough to pull it through its mother's fur. It started on an extraordinary journey. To survive, it must get to a pouch higher up on its mother's belly. Instinctively, this tiny living particle climbs upwards against the pull of gravity and towards the smell of the pouch. After about three minutes, it reaches the lip of the pouch and clambers down to safety inside. There, it clamps its tiny mouth on its mother's nipple and takes its first meal of milk. As it grows, the ingredients of the milk coming from the nipple change to ensure that the infant gets exactly the nutrients it needs for each stage of its development. By the time it's nine months old, it's getting a bit cramped. It's time to enter the outside world. It's almost like a second birth. He's a little unsteady at first, but mum offers a helping hand. Now he's known as a joey. It's all a bit much for one day and he heads back to the safety and security of mother's pouch. It will be another year before he's fully independent. <laughs> 